Hey guys, so for today's vlog, you read the title, and I'm not trying to shame anyone with the title, I just think it's funny myself as a 30 year old woman to buy Legos. Um, there's no shame in that at all, so I just wanna point that out. I love these kind of things. I loved Legos growing up. There's nothing wrong with it. It was just for the title, but I do think it's funny. I never really saw myself at 30 buying Legos, you know? <laughs> But I did, I bought Legos. <laughs> I thought we could build this together. I don't know if I'm gonna build all of it on camera cause I kind of want it to be a little side project while we're in quarantine. But someone said that they would watch a video of me putting it together. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out and build some Legos. And I actually asked you guys questions or four questions on Instagram months ago and then never did the video for it. So I think quarantine and being in lockdown is just, bringing out the creative sides to people. And because I'm not naturally creative, I like to build things that have like clear instructions. I've always loved and been really good at building Ikea furniture and things like that. All my friends would have me build their stuff for them because I'm just good at it and I like it. I would love to get into like drawing and stuff, but not creative. I'm a Pisces, but not creative, so. Ah, we got little stickers to put on things. I'm so excited. So I got the night bus from Harry Potter. It has Stan Shunpike, Ernie, and Harry, even the little shrunken head is in the bus. So, you know, it's just, it's all there. I think it opens, yeah. It opens on this side and the bed moves around and the um, chandelier swings. So, highly accurate to the movie. I think Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite. I don't know, Goblet of Fire, Prisoner of Azkaban, they're both really good. It's been like two decades since I've put together uh, Legos, so I'm not really sure how to do this. We start with one, oh, there's an app. I literally thought these were the instructions where it was just like one, two, three, and you're done with the bus. And I was like, no, but I get it. Package one does one and two, they're numbered, okay. Um, okay, so let's do package one first. That seems to be the order of things. Um, okay, well, first let's put together people. I don't know, we got Harry here. Where's his hair? Stan Shunpike. Oh, here we go, Harry's hair. These are Harry's pants. Are these Harry's pants? Yeah, Harry's pants. We have Harry Potter, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Harry's wand. Harry needs a wand. Oh, found all the little wands. There's all the little wands. <laughs> now we have Harry Potter, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. And then we have this little trunk, Harry's trunk. Is this even interesting of a video? Like really? little chunk done. Not sure, I guess this is the tail lights. Okay, I'm gonna pull up some questions that you guys asked a million years ago. Don't know if you like care to know them, but we're gonna answer some questions anyway because I feel like just watching me put this together is gonna be very boring. Do you feel more comfortable now with your job or do you still want a traditional career? Love ya, love you too. Uh, I definitely don't feel comfortable in a lot of ways. I think YouTube, is a very stressful kind of job because nothing is ever guaranteed. Like pretty much everything changes month to month. Um, I may have like a successful video one month and then not then for like three months. But you know, that's why we have sponsors and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm definitely not like comfortable, comfortable. I feel like I have kind of figured out a groove, at least for now, that I'm really enjoying. And I'm kind of just doing whatever I want right now, which is a very nice freedom. But I t generally, I obviously do want a traditional job at some point. Uh, my goal for life in general is to work from home for the rest of my life. That would be very ideal. Um, I would love to be a stay-at-home mom as well. So that is obviously in the five-year plan for me, which is, so scary to think about. I'm confused, how does that stay on there? Is this supposed to like, oh, I see it goes right here. 
I don't know. I feel like I'm flying through this already. Like we're already, we got a big chunk done, so we're doing good. Yeah, a lot of people ask, do you still wanna be a school counselor? No, but I do want to work at a school in general. Um, YouTube's still your full-time job? Yes, I don't have any secondary job. Do you have a second job? What work is it? Nope, it's just my only one. Um, do you plan on going for another degree? I did debate going back to school for dietetics because it's something I'm really passionate about, but uh, I don't know, I just, I don't know if that's really the career for me, but maybe I'll just turn it more into like a hobby for now. This makes me very sad because these questions were submitted before all of this lockdown happened. And so someone asked, what are your national park plans for this year? And that just breaks my heart because I had a trip booked for Lassen and I'm not sure if that is going to still happen. It's at the end of June. And the way things are looking, I don't think so. I think they're closing the national parks or have closed the national parks. So I'm not really sure. What are your thoughts about being a late bloomer now? Love a self-identified late bloomer. It's really funny because I noticed another thing that I'm kind of a late bloomer on and that's confidence. I genuinely like, be, like came into my own I think as far as confidence goes and just like what I'm doing in life and how I look and everything like that It's just it's always fluctuating of course, but I do feel like reaching 30 was a big milestone So I feel like once I hit 30, it's like, you know what? I am like a valid adult I don't know why I've never felt like an adult, which is so weird. I've been an adult for 12 years um, But yeah, it's just a feeling that I got that I can't really put into words, but it was just like almost when I hit 30, I was like so excited to be 30, if that makes sense. I was dreading 27, 28, 29. Those are like the worst numbers in my head, which is ridiculous because it's arbitrary. But then once I hit 30, I was like excited for 30 in like my 30s because I feel like my 30s is really where it's gonna be at. You know, I'll get my house, I'll maybe have a kid, I'll get married, do the things that I do want to do it will all happen in my 30s and that's almost like a guarantee i mean nothing's a guarantee obviously but with the way my life is going it's kind of a guarantee okay this is honestly so much fun wait wait what's going on okay i figured it out Jeez, this is like harder than it seems <laughs> Something isn't right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Wait, okay. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I gotta take this all apart now. Great. Man, you get one piece off early on and the whole thing is just messed up. <laughs> Okay, if you get two pieces stuck together, what, what are you supposed to do? You know what, that's a problem for future me. I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I have another duplicate one right there, so I'm just gonna put that. What's your favorite way to decompress when you feel stressed? You're looking at it. Actually, this might be my new hobby, honestly, because I am relaxed right now and it's not just because of that situation. But no, I love distracting myself like when I feel really anxious and something to focus on besides whatever I'm anxious about. And for me, this kind of stuff is amazing. It really takes my mind off of it. Like, you know, I've been really into puzzles throughout this whole lockdown situation. I am still trying to get into embroidery. I did do a new piece and that's been, you know, slow but going we are moving right along with this night bus look at that's what we got so far someone literally asked how has 2020 been so far if we only knew then if we only knew new favorite recipe i actually just discovered bon appetit i know i'm way way behind and I made the uh, brothy chickpea pasta, and I'll link the actual recipe below, but that is so good. I'm actually gonna be making it in my video for a week of quarantine dinners. I love recipes like that because it's super tasty, obviously, but also it's really, really easy to make and really cheap to make. And cheap, healthy, good food is like, just sign me up. And then we have this one. And then we have this one. 
Ah, I get it. And then we need three of these. These go on top. Starting to kind of resemble a bus shape. <laughs> getting somewhere with this. Are you uh, keeping track? I don't know. Is this video even interesting? I would love to hear what you want to see on my vlog channel if this is not interesting to you. Oh, okay, we're putting together Ernie's chair. So, see this is, this is the instructions right now. Ernie's chair. <laughs> doing more ghost story videos. So if you remember, I did a telling ghost stories video around Halloween time. And I said that I was going to continue those and then never did. So sorry about that. I actually kind of want to do it over on this channel. I had a bunch more, like a lot more uh, submissions for ghost stories from you guys. So if that sounds like something you'd want me to do on the vlog channel, I would be more than happy to. I don't know if I would do it on my main channel again, um, but I could do it over here. We need more content over here anyway. So it'll be like a little special thing with you guys. Um, but I don't have Halloween decor up really, so I can't really make it that like creepy vibes, but you know, we could always tell it at night. I don't know, you tell me what you think. Like I can't even talk to you guys that much because this is taking up a lot of my attention span right now. We get to put on stickers now. This is exciting. See, so this is the front of the bus. So I gotta put this sticker on. Oh gosh. This needs my whole focus right now. There we go, front of the bus, looking good. And now we pop it on the front like so. Oh shit. Look at it. Ooh, it's looking good. I think putting in these windows is like my favorite part. These are so satisfying to pop in. Oh yeah. So I would love for you guys to tell me what you guys are doing to keep busy during this time, like what kind of hobbies you've picked up. I honestly kind of love the phenomenon that's happening of people finding new things. The other day I saw um, some kids have an inflatable pool over in like a grassy area and I live in an apartment complex So there's really like no real room for that But they just put it in a grassy area and they were having a great time and I'm like would they do that normally? Probably not So people are just like finding new ways to stay entertained and to keep busy and Finding new hobbies and things to do which I love. I think it's so fun. <laughs> okay This part's gonna be kind of satisfying so we get to put all the windows on and it's gonna really make it look like the bus. See, normally I wouldn't have discovered this as like a hobby. And I'm not saying I'm gonna buy a bunch more, but because I don't have the room for it to be honest. But you know, when I have a house and I have like some room, Ryan and I have talked about having like an office where we hang our puzzle posters, where we hang my movie posters that I've gotten in PR and like my horror paraphernalia stuff that I've gotten in PR and just like fun things, all his like game things. And I can just have like Harry Potter Lego figurines, you know, it's so fun to put together. I'm so into this right now. <laughs> Finish putting together Stan Sean Pike. He's sitting over here with like no legs on. So there he is. <laughs> Remember when I was like, that's a problem for future me? That's a problem for future me. Well, we're here. This is now future me. Thank you past me for caring so much about me. I don't know how to get these apart. I got it. I used a knife. Please don't do that. Do not do what I just did. Thank you. Here's Skimble, everyone. There you go. You okay? <laughs> she looks so cute. My girl. Oh, we get to put together some more windows. Now it's 
time for the shrunken head piece. And he just hangs, it's so cute. Okay, that is very satisfying. Look at that. This is the part that opens. So you can see into the bus, but look at it, it's so cute. If I don't stop filming here, I'm just gonna not be talking to you guys and just be doing this the whole time, which maybe some of you would enjoy a sped up little montage of me putting it together. But this is what we have so far. Um, I probably won't film the rest of me putting it together because I did get this as a way to relax and like just play music and focus on something else than, you know, stressors and things. You know, I got it for me time, no offense, but I have enjoyed building it with you on camera. <laughs> At least this gives you an idea of like what it looks like and it didn't just leave you hanging. Although the next part is the double decker part, which is gonna be pretty cool. Editing me can confirm it is very cool. Here's a nice little update for you. But anyway, I uh, hope you don't mind this like random vlog. I just kind of thought I would film a little bit and show you one of my new hobbies um, is building Legos. So I highly recommend you guys find a hobby similar, so, you know, putting stuff together, something creative, a little project. I don't know if you want me to film future projects because I do have a couple ideas of more creative things that I kind of want to do. Um, I can also vlog that process even though it's probably not going to be that successful but um yeah if you just want to come along on my journey of entertaining myself in lockdown so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed partial partially made night bus make sure to follow me on social media i'm going to post a picture of what it looks like when it's all built um if you're curious but there are pictures online obviously i like how every video on my vlog channel so far since my comeback is harry potter related is this a Harry Potter vlog channel now or what? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave some requests for vlogs you want me to film in the future and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.